Today I wanted to talk about how to use hydrogen peroxide as a mouthwash. Using hydrogen peroxide as a mouthwash is quite simple. Just swish 1-3% to of hydrogen peroxide around in your mouth and then spit it out like you do with any kind of mouthwash. So why 1-3%? to Well some people feel that 3% is a bit strong to use as a mouthwash. You can try 3% or water it down with some water. Some 3% of hydrogen peroxide with an equal amount of water added will give you 1.5% hydrogen peroxide. Using hydrogen peroxide as a mouthwash will kill bacteria and viruses in your mouth. However, it takes time for the hydrogen peroxide to work, so this is not going to remove all the bacteria and viruses in your mouth. It will just lessen them. Using hydrogen peroxide as a mouthwash can taste a bit weird. Also, any time hydrogen peroxide is killing germs, it will foam. So there can be some foaming when you're using hydrogen peroxide as a mouthwash. If you want to get at the bacteria in your gums, try it this way. Brush your teeth, then floss between your teeth, and then swish with peroxide. This way any gunk is out of the way and the peroxide can get into the gums more easily. Swishing for a minute or longer will be more effective than a shorter swish. Another idea for getting peroxide into your gums is putting hydrogen peroxide into a water pick and then spraying the peroxide at your gums, as usually you would do with a water pick. Probably the best way of doing this is to spray a mixture of half water and half 3% peroxide. This way the mixture will be 1.5% peroxide. 3% hydrogen peroxide will probably be too strong to spray onto your gums. Just a word of warning, hydrogen peroxide can harm your gums if used too often, too long or in a too strong solution. Here are some more ways to use peroxide for teeth, mouth and throat. You can also try using hydrogen peroxide to brush your teeth. Some people use a mixture of peroxide and baking soda. If that doesn't appeal to you, you might like to soak your toothbrush in some 3% hydrogen peroxide. This will kill the bacteria and viruses in the bristles of your toothbrush, which will also, in a roundabout way, make fewer bacteria going into your mouth. Gargling with hydrogen peroxide will get the hydrogen peroxide in contact with the back of your mouth and throat. The longer you gargle, the more time it has to kill the germs. This won't prevent all illnesses, but it's a good idea to do this when colds and flus are around. Gargling with peroxide won't kill all the germs in your throat, it will just lessen them. Peroxide takes time to work, but use some care as peroxide can also be harmful if used too long or too often. So, if you want to get into the groove, then start using hydrogen peroxide to clean your mouth today. And if you like more health videos like this, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you click here, you can also see other videos I've created on hydrogen peroxide. Thanks for watching and have a great day.